Okay, let's go ahead and write the inequality to the graph. And we have two basic practice problems here. So we're going to obviously do this problem and this problem. And we have uh, obviously graphs here. And uh, each one of these graphs has a respective inequality. And specifically, this topic is compound inequality. So we're going to review some basic fundamental concept, concepts of compound inequalities and then actually uh, write uh, the specific inequalities that goes with these graphs. So this is going to be a really good uh, review for those of you who are studying inequalities. But uh, before we get into all of that, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabit Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online video-based math help programs there is. Now, whether you need to take a full math course or you need uh, help with your uh, course that you're in right now, my program can help you. So I offer full complete comprehensive lessons far more than what I do on YouTube and I actually solve I teach you how to solve thousands of problems specifically all video based I'll leave a link to that uh, to my program in the description of this video also um, as a math teacher I can't help to stress the importance of note-taking just goes without saying uh, this is over decades of teaching mathematics those students who have the best math notes generally have the best math grades and the reverse is true okay if you don't have good math notes or no math notes or occasional math notes um, or notes that you can't really understand, well, you really want to start correcting that, okay? But in the meantime, you're going to need something to study from. So I actually offer notes, and I'm going to leave a link to those uh, in the description of this video as well. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. Okay, so let's get into... Um, uh, reviewing these concepts with uh, compound inequalities. And compound inequalities, basically, we're talking about two statements, okay? An and statement and an or statement. So I'll get into this uh, little hand and or thing here in a second. But here is an example of an and graph. So this is what this would be. So let's say this is, oh, I don't know, uh, 3 and this is 8, okay? So this graph is saying... These numbers, wherever the line is here, all the numbers, whoops, let me do this again, all the numbers that are greater than 3 and less than 8, okay, so this is how we're saying this, all this line right here that goes between these two circles, these are the numbers that represent the solution to an inequality, okay, so it's, what we're saying is all numbers that are greater than 3 and, okay, I'm using that word and, less than eight. So we're talking about a specific interval here. So if I had to uh, reconstruct this, I'm saying, well, I want all the numbers greater than three and at the same time less than eight. So when you have a graph that's like this, okay, that's an and statement. You say that with the word and. Now, I kind of like to tell my students to think of um, graphs like this Kind of looks like a little handlebar. That's why I use the word hand, right? And, and if you put an H there, hand. Like a handlebar on a bike, if you will. Just kind of using any kind of little memory device that will help you uh, remember that and statements have graphs that look like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out this or now. Okay, we could have a situation like so. So let's use the same numbers, 3 and 8. Now here, the solutions are saying... All numbers that are less than 3, okay, all these numbers less than 3 or all numbers that are greater than 8 are the solutions to an inequality, okay? So this is the or, and I kind of look, it, this kind of looks like this way, right? And I think of it as oars on a little, like a little boat. So here's a person in a boat, and they have their little oars out like so. So again, use whatever memory device you want. But this inequality might be something like, well, I want all numbers less than 3 or all numbers that are greater than 8, okay? So if it's uh, a numbers on this interval or this interval, it would represent the solution to uh, this specific inequality here, okay? So this is not difficult. Of course, when you understand the basics of it, it's not difficult. But when you see an inequality that says or... Um, uh, specifically, you know that the graphs are going to be split like so. Okay, so just remember that, and then the AND statements will have these type of graphs. So knowing that, um, doing these prompts here, here's our two examples, is pretty easy, right? 
So let's just go ahead and look at this graph. What do you think this is? Is it an and or an or? It is an or, okay? So let's go ahead and just write out each inequality here. So we have all x's are all numbers that are less than but not equal to negative 5. So all x's are less than uh, but not equal to negative 5 is like this. Or all x's that are greater than 3, okay? But here... I have this circle filled in, so that means equal to. Okay, so remember, uh, you should have some basic knowledge of inequalities right now to know how to graph these. And if you don't, uh, I have plenty of videos on my channel that can help you out. Okay, so this is the inequality to this graph again, or can okay, we recognize that or shape graph? All right, so let's go down and finish up this last little problem. Okay, so here it has the and, all right or the handlebar type of uh, uh, shape. Now, we, won't, we don't uh, typically use the word and when we're actually writing the inequality out, but we do state it that way. Okay, so here, I want all numbers greater than negative 4 or equal to it, okay, and at the same time, less than 2. Okay, so this is saying all values x uh, such that they're, it's greater than or equal to negative four and at the same time less than two. So this would be the inequality to this graph. All right, so pretty common problems. When you're studying inequalities, this is a very typical type of problem again. Uh, you'll be given a graph and you'll say, hey, write the inequality. Of course, you'll um, also be given inequality and you need to express the solution as a graph. So just remember these fundamental things about and and or and all the circles and how you fill them in, et cetera. Not too difficult, but um, you know, it's oftentimes the simple, easy things that tend to mess us up in mathematics. So that's why it's more um, really important that you actually practice this stuff. Remember, watching videos is not the same as you learning and mastering math. You have to apply what you learn and practice, practice, practice. Okay, so hopefully this video has helped you out. And if you've enjoyed this video or benefited uh, in some way, I'd certainly appreciate you smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider uh, subscribing to my um, uh, channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years at the time of this video. I already have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel organized in various playlists. So if you like my uh, style of teaching, I have tons of uh, stuff there. But my best resources are going to be uh, found in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.